it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com and you're about to learn how to make these adorable fancy flower coasters. Aren't they cute? And so easy. So without further ado, let's jump right in. You'll want to grab some fingering weight yarn, a US size e-hook, and begin with this magic loop like so. So you just pull your yarn through like that and then we're going to begin round one which starts with a chain three and that counts as your first double crochet. Now you're going to work 11 double crochets into that magic loop making sure that you're working around both strands like so and you'll see why in a minute. Now obviously this is thicker yarn than fingering weight. I'm using DK weight yarn and a US size G hook just so you can see more easily what I'm doing. And I'm going to end up with a much bigger coaster which looks more like a face cloth or something. So you just keep working your double crochets into the loop. And then when you're done, you're going to cinch up that loop by pulling on the tail. That's why it's magic. Boom, there you go. Then to finish round one, you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three and you're done. Yay! Okay, so let's do round two. Begin with a chain four, which counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. Then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Then chain one and double crochet in the next stitch. And you repeat that all the way around. That's chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so when you get back to the beginning, you're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain four. And make sure that you have 12 double crochets. And round two is done. Round three. Okay, slip stitch into the next chain space. And then chain three. Then work two double crochets into that same chain space. Repeat that all the way around until you get back to where you started. So that's chain one three double crochets in the next chain space. Chain one, three double crochets in the next chain space, all the way around. Then to finish up round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of that initial chain three. And done. Round number four. You're going to begin by slip stitching into the next two stitches. And then chain three. Then work two double crochets into the next chain space. Right there. So one and two and then double crochet into the next stitch okay then chain one and you're going to skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch and 
Then work two double crochets into the chain space. And double crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that sequence around until you get back to where you started. Now, let me pause here and tell you something that might help you out. If you're struggling to remember this and scurrying to write it all down, don't. I have you all taken care of. You can head on over to my website, expressionfiberarts.com, and click on the Patterns category. I'll also put the direct link below for you. There you'll see this pattern, and you can download it, and this will all be written down for you so you don't have to write it down yourself or keep rewinding the video, struggling to remember everything. So go ahead and head on over there. I also have a bunch of other free patterns, and you can get some of those as well if you like. I do both knitting and crocheting, so go ahead and pop over and take a look. Okay, so to finish up, round four. You're going to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of the chain three and done. So let's go ahead and proceed to round number five. Begin with the chain three and then double crochet in the next stitch. Now, here comes the part that you'll repeat all the way around. Chain two. One, two. And then double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the chain space. And double crochet in the next two stitches. And there you go. So you do that all the way around, and that is round five. Doop. You'll see you have five little double crochets there clustered together. So to finish that up, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet into the chain space, and then join with a slip stitch in the third chain of that initial chain three. Okay, round number six. Begin with a chain three. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then work two double crochets in the chain two space. Then double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so here comes the repeatable part. We will work this all the way around until we get back to where we started. So, chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches, two double crochets in the chain two space, And then double crochet in the next two stitches and repeat that all the way around. Okay, when you're done, make sure you've done your final chain two and then slip stitch into the third chain of that initial chain three. And round six is done. <laughs> and we only have one more round to go and it's the fun little petal round. So, for round seven, you wanna start with a chain two. Then, here's the repeatable part. Single crochet in the next stitch. Then slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. Two 
then single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, then four double crochets into the chain space. And if you're unfamiliar with any of these stitches, I do have videos for all of these, so you can go check those out if you need to. Then half double crochet into the next stitch. And you repeat that all the way around. And there you go. Now, I will post my links to my other social sites if you wanna go connect with me there. So check out those links below. The best way to stay in touch with me if you want to be notified of my new free patterns is to sign up to my email newsletter. So you can do that at expressionfiberarts.com and I will email you when I have new stuff out. Yay! Also, if you make these coasters, be sure and post them on your blog, your favorite social site and link back to me or tag me so that I can see because I would love to see them. And don't forget, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see my future episodes. All right, let's finish up this round here by slip stitching into that original chain two. Do another little chain there and then cut your ends, weave them into the back side, and you can leave it roughly like this. You can wet it and pin it out on cardboard and allow it to dry for a little bit stiffer look or for a crisp finish, spray with laundry starch. And you're finished. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.